In this video we will explain What is technology? What is a technological device? Negative aspects of technology. Let's begin. What is technology? The origin of the word technology can be traced back to the ancient Greek word techni, meaning skill with art or craft. Making plastics or paper, designing electronic circuits, and constructing bridges are very different crafts. However, they are all examples of technology. We are going to define technology as the application of technical and scientific knowledge to design and create objects so that some human activity is more comfortable to perform, faster, cheaper, or even more environmentally sustainable. For example, it is more comfortable to go up to the fifth floor by elevator than by stairs. It is faster to cross the Atlantic Ocean if we do it by plane. To cut down a forest, we will need less labor if we use this type of machinery. Therefore, it will be more economical. Newer forms of generating energy, such as wind power, are more sustainable. In summary, Technology is the application of technical and scientific knowledge. Its objective is to achieve goals and improve quality of life. And for this, you need to manufacture new objects. The story of William Kumkwamba is a good example of how useful technology is. William was born in a small village in Malawi, in Africa, where most homes did not have electricity. William loved to learn new things, but when he was 14, he had to drop out of school. Luckily, in the public library, he found an engineering book written in English. William barely spoke English, but this book caught his attention. He checked it out and took it home. Thanks to this book, along with his ingenuity and determination, William used technology to improve the lives of everyone in his community. We said that technology is a set of technical and scientific knowledge applied to create objects and improve our lives. Therefore, the first thing we have to do is distinguish between technical knowledge and scientific knowledge. Technical knowledge tells us or teaches us how to do something, how to carry out a process while scientific knowledge describes how nature behaves. Consider this simple example, a recipe for how to prepare macaroni. If I tell you that to make some macaroni, you have to put two liters of water in a pot, add 20 grams of salt, put the pot on the stove, and when the water starts to boil, Add 200 grams of macaroni. Let it cook for eight minutes. Take the pot off of the heat and drain the macaroni. With this recipe, we are explaining how to do something, which means it's all about technical knowledge. However, if I tell you that water at normal atmospheric pressure boils at 100 degrees Celsius, or that the table salt that we added to the water is made up of chlorine and sodium atoms, I am explaining how elements of nature behave under certain conditions, and this is scientific knowledge. Let's look at another example. This rock is called limonite, and it is an iron ore. Scientific knowledge tells us its iron content, what other materials it contains, its mechanical resistance, and also the melting point of iron. On the other hand, this diagram shows the sequence of steps we must carry out to extract the iron from that rock. Therefore, this diagram refers to technical knowledge. Technology allows us to transform this rock into an object like this. And for this, we need both technical and scientific knowledge.
While a monkey can use a stone to open a walnut, we human beings can transform the stone into a nutcracker. Look at the technological leap that is needed to transform a stone into a simple nutcracker. What is a technological device? A technological device can be defined as any object manufactured by humans to satisfy needs or solve problems. When we talk about technological devices, the first things that come to mind might be computers and smartphones. But anything man-made is a technological object. A wheel, a plow, a simple sewing needle, a ladder, scissors, a fishing rod, in fact, I can't think of anything that has been built by humans that is not a technological device. What about you? Can you think of any human-made object that wasn't intended to solve a problem? For example, the stone used by the monkey in the previous video is a natural object. Although the monkey used it as a tool, it is not a technological device because the stone was not changed in any way to better accomplish its task. Another example is a banana or an ear of corn. These products solve the problem of hunger, the basic need to eat one of the most important needs that we must satisfy. But they are not technological objects because they are found in nature. Corn, in principle, is not a technological device because it is a natural product. What about genetically modified corn? in which the corn's genome has been artificially modified to better adapt it to our needs. Can a living thing such as corn be a technological device? What consequences could there be if a living thing is subject to commercial patent law? We are now going to the last section of today's class. We said that a technological device is any object created by humans that solves a problem or satisfies a need. But let's not forget, just because a technological device solves a problem doesn't mean that it won't create other new problems. We are now going to talk about negative aspects of technology. Does technology have negative aspects? Of course it does. Technology, like practically all human activities, can have consequences some important negative aspects of technology are contamination, loss of jobs, inappropriate uses of technological objects, and wasteful consumerism. Contamination is one of the main problems with technological development because the manufacture of objects requires large amounts of energy and natural resources, which generates pollution and results in the destruction of ecosystems. Additionally, many technological devices have a lifespan, after which they cease to be functional and end up in landfills, thus generating contamination both in the production phase and in the disposal phase. This is a photo of a landfill full of technological devices. While the majority of these products are consumed by developed countries, landfills like this can be found in developing nations. Pollution is a big problem associated with technological development. Another problem with technology is that it eliminates many jobs. In the past, technology transformed the type of labor required, but it did not destroy jobs. In fact, new technologies often increase the number of jobs in a society. But currently there are experts who agree that this trend is changing and that for the first time in history, technology is poised to eliminate more jobs than it creates, especially when it comes to advances in the fields of electronics and artificial intelligence. What do you think? Can a robot do the work of an artist? What about my work? 
Can a robot do it? Would this video be different if it were recorded by an avatar and artificial intelligence? Another drawback is the misuse of some technologies. Many technologies can bring benefits to society, but misuse of them can have harmful consequences. An example of this can be social networks. Many developers from Facebook and other social networks forbid their children to use the applications that they themselves helped to design. To understand that, you might want to look up some information about the consequences that digital applications can have on the cognitive development of young people. Finally, we have rampant consumerism and planned obsolescence. Technology increases the production capacity of factories. Therefore, sales have to be encouraged so a surplus of products isn't generated. One way to incentivize purchases is through product design and the fashion factor. It has been known for several centuries that by making the design of a product more attractive, even if its quality is not improved, sales increase. The clearest example is the textile industry. The quality of the clothes during one fashion season is not better than the quality of the clothes from the previous season. But by changing the colors and shapes of a garment, even minimally, people will buy the new products. Many say that this need to purchase products in order to maintain the economies is reducing the role of human beings to mere consumers of objects. Technological objects that, rather than satisfying real needs, satisfy mere whims. Another technique to encourage purchases is planned obsolescence, but I will leave that to you to investigate. What is planned obsolescence?